Hey, what is up everybody? It is the True Epic Gamer here, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare had a massive update today. It probably took you a very long time to download it unless you have really good internet, which I do, and it still takes quite some time whenever it switches over to the copying portion, which is after the actual download itself. And then only to find out that when you open the game, it sends you to download two more things from the PlayStation Store, a Special Ops pack and a multiplayer pack. So the update should have been amazing. It should have included tons of things. Now this could have added in everything for Season 2. This could have made it where as soon as Season 2 starts, everything will be there with no update required. And if I'm thinking right, that's actually how they did it with Season 1. Now that's all fine and dandy, but let's talk about this update in and of itself and how terrible it is and why I think it's terrible. So number one complaint is player collision. This is whenever you run into a teammate and they're just all up in your way. So previously it could cause a glitch where it could kind of either sling you or sling them and the only way to prevent it was if you mounted, otherwise they could just kind of sling you anywhere they wanted. Now yes, that's a problem, but to me the problem is that you can hit your teammate at all. You should be able to walk through your teammates and not your enemies because I find myself in situations where I'm playing shipment and a teammate is standing at the door of the crate and I literally cannot leave. Now if that's not ridiculous, I don't know what is, you just shouldn't be able to run into your teammates. Like that shouldn't be a feature of this game. And yet here we are, all they did was fix the bugs with the player collision. They didn't actually take it out like I was hoping for. So enough with complaining with that. What else? What else is the problem? I know what you're thinking. That can't just be it. That can't be why the update is so terrible. So the main portion of this update is that there is a crossbow. That's the new weapon and it's free for everyone if you complete a challenge. Now the challenge is to get five kills with a marksman rifle with a reflex sight. That's an easy challenge, okay, but you have to do it 25 times. So 25 matches completed to their full. That, that takes a while, guys. If it was a 10 minute match, that'd be over four hours of just straight gameplay. Now, some people were saying that the way that they got it was just by leaving the game after they got the five kills and doing that over and over again. Now, I've tried all kinds of different things. I've tried that, and I've tried staying in the match completely. I've tried playing hardcore. I've tried playing different game modes. I've tried closing my application, opening it, opening it restarting my PlayStation. I've tried everything. And after completing this at least 10 or 15 times, it's only counted twice. Now, there's a chance that this is a visual glitch, and once I get my 25, it will still give me the crossbow. But whether it's a visual glitch or not, if there's no way for me to fix it, if there's no way for me to really know, I could be completely wasting my time. I could be doing all of these matches, all 25 of them, other than the two that counted. It could be a complete waste of my time. So I'm stuck wondering if I should even keep trying or not because I'm just wasting my time. I would rather be playing more fun game modes or actually trying. So is that all that sucks with the update? No, that's, that's not even it, guys. The other brand new game mode that they added is probably the, my least favorite game mode in Call of Duty history, which is Capture the Flag. I don't know who was asking for it. I don't know who was sitting around like, ooh, please add Capture the Flag. No, Capture the Flag is terrible, guys. It's boring, it's slow, especially for a game like this. Like, this is not a fast-paced game, no matter how hard I want to try and make it that way. That's just not the kind of game that it is. I uploaded gameplay of it in this match just for the sake of showing you guys something that this update actually added, which was a terrible game mode, barely fixing player collision, and a crossbow that I don't even know if I can unlock. Oh, but just to be clear, there's one way that you can for sure unlock it, and that's to pay for it in the store, of course, with some crappy variant pack like it always is. So guys, I don't really know how, I'm, how I feel about this update at all, and I was already mad whenever they delayed Season 2, because every, they, they tried to advertise it, and even, I even see people uploading about it, talking about how excited they are that they extended Season 1. Like, no, guys. Like, they, that's just a scheme. Like, all they did was delay Season 2. Like, you're not getting anything new. It's, it's terrible. So I'm sitting here waiting and hoping 
that Battle Royale comes out with Season 2. Now, that could really redeem some of these really crappy updates that they've had. If they have a Battle Royale in here by Season 2's start, if that's the reason they delayed it, then I'm okay with that. But other than that, guys, I feel like that's pretty much all I've got to talk about today. Um, I'm sure they fixed some other things. Another thing, if you're a competitive player, I don't know if you guys know, but there's a slide cancel glitch that people are really upset about. And the Call of Duty League actually starts this weekend, and they decided they weren't going to take it out for this update, which does not have pro players happy at all that they would worry about something as dumb as a crossbow and not fix a, what's considered a really major issue for competitive gameplay on this game. People are really upset about that. Um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Make sure to like this video, comment down below your thoughts on the update, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, peace.